And unsurprisingly, I started my day with the morning cardio and was showered by sweat before I was showered by water. I would say today's vlog is pretty much art infused, both in terms of visual art and culinary art. I've been living in Hong Kong for over 15 years and have definitely witnessed how the city has transformed. Personally, I'm glad to see how the city has become more lifestyle, culture, and art oriented. Today, our first stop is the Phyllis Auction Preview. The auction is happening in June, and in the run up to that, there are a few days of preview for the public to witness these masterpieces. The central piece at the entrance of the very first floor is Basquiat's. He was quite new to me, and it was mainly active in the 80s and died tragically at a young age of 27 because of drug overdose. And this painting speaks a lot about his equal rights beliefs, especially the accompanying words where he said, I cross out words so you can see them more. There are many familiar artists at the preview, Yayoi Kusama for one, she's a real hustler in the art scene, and Yoshito Nara on the third floor. A lot of people say Hong Kong has diminished as a financial center, and I wouldn't say that's untrue, but I'm also happy to see how its cultural life has been thriving, especially in terms of arts, lifestyle, and community. I feel these aspects affect me the most in my day-to-day -day living. I've also noticed some of my friends have enriched their investment portfolio to include some art pieces. I'm not sure how much return it can generate, I think no one knows, but as a way to increase your knowledge and appreciate art, it's not a bad way to diversify your investments. The preview occupies the three levels in the Phyllis building, and after going through all three levels, you can get the stems and get a coffee at a whatever percentage discount. I think this exhibition is worth coming, so if you happen to be in Hong Kong these few days, you get one more option on your to-do list. Despite the very very bad weather condition these few days, we see the Tindo effect when we came out! How amazing! We stopped for a long while on the bridge, a breathtaking moment worth remembering. 今天我們去吃Arbor是我最喜歡的香港餐廳之一 Moving on to the food art part, Arbor is definitely one of my favorites. But in fact, there are lots of nice restaurants in the H Queen's building. Chef is Finnish, but he creates very nice Japanese-French fusion cuisines. Ah, this is my favorite table. Last time I came with my mom and we also sat at this table with a very nice window. We came at around 6.45, just enough visibility to see the whole restaurant. I quite like the decor, classy, bright, and roomy. And so, a few photos are due. We're having their 8 course dinner tonight, some dishes have changed, but I see my favorites are still there. My experience at Arbor has been good food, good vibe, and good chat. And while I was admiring this bread, which by the way is my absolute favorite, you guys must try, it's this very soft brioche with seaweed and other like amazing ingredients. My boyfriend was chatting with the sommelier, who is very knowledgeable. We took a burgundy white tonight because most dishes are seafood based. And this bottle is superb. I don't think I should spoil too much on the courses because it's best that you guys come here and try but I'll just say that each course is very nicely executed with the right balance of flavors and the presentation also does it justice Just want to comment on the temperature of the restaurant It's not cold at all So ladies, you can wear your lovely dresses without putting the pressure to like bring a scarf or a coat if the temperature control is pretty I think because it's very hot and humid in Hong Kong, most dishes have very nice control of acidity, which makes it very refreshing to eat. Although I like solid homey food, occasionally I do enjoy getting pampered at these very nice restaurants. And see the buildings behind me? Hong Kong is full of them. The pièce de résistance is the main course, and I order pigeon, my boyfriend ordered beef. I've always told my friends the pigeon is a must try, but I was surprised by the beef. The flavors were so deep and rich, and yet it's not cloying. They used Japanese pepper as one of the sauces, and it was amazing to go with the beef and the pigeon. I know I use a lot of love, favored, and absolute love tonight, but it's all true. The dessert with caviar and matcha ice cream and crispy seaweed, so nice. The flavors are delicate and sophisticated. It's a very nice play of savory and sweet tastes. And lastly, a sweet, warm madeleine to end tonight. If you are a seasoned traveler to Hong Kong already, you can up your game by having more art-infused activities. I'm sure it will render you a different perspective of Hong Kong.